Sage. Hi, Danny. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Good. What are we talking about today? Wait, no, who are we? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my one God. Day, one day I'll get it. One day. Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, we're doing better than we used to because mm-hmm. we used to just both forget. So, yeah. you know, we, we pick up each other's slack. Yeah. <laughs> Half um, a brain cell each. <laughs> yes, exactly. Together, one whole one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, so, we are Silence of the Hags. And we're the Hags. We're your Hags. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> so, um, this is, an, uh, I think, our Friday. This is Halloween episode, what, five? Yeah. Yeah. Hap- uh, happy, Tomorrow's happy Halloween. Number five. Oh, my God. Happy Halloween tomorrow. So happy exciting. Happy early Halloween. Yes. Woo-hoo. Oh, my God. Um, so tomorrow we got another one coming at you to finish us off, but, but mm-hmm. today we have a really, I don't know if I call this fun, like it's fun. It's wild. But it, yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's fun. It's <laughs> wild. I mean, apparently some, some people find this quite fun. Yeah, I have concerns. Yeah. <laughs> have so many concerns. Me as well. Um, so today we're going to be talking about basically just the most hardcore haunted houses we can find Mm -hmm. they're called extreme haunts for those of you who don't know yeah i don't Um, even know if i classify mine as a haunt mine's just pure fucked yeah i think mine's like on the same level as yours yeah yeah. oh god okay well um but i learned there's i'm very confused i i don't fully understand because i couldn't even watch half the videos because i'm so terrified of haunted houses that watching these videos made me so uncomfortable but there's like extreme haunts, mm-hmm. which are what we're doing. These what we're the ones we chose are classified as extreme haunts. But then there's also like immersive horror, which doesn't hmm. seem as intense, but like sounds scarier than extreme haunts to me. <laughs> well, I think that immersive horror is like you are not this. I don't know if that's true. I from what I what it's I would kind imagine of like interactive theater maybe. So. Immersive horror is an experience where a participant takes an active role in a narrative that is designed to evoke darker emotions such as fear, panic, or despair in the audience. Hmm. So that none of this sounds nice to me. <laughs> yeah, whereas the extreme haunting haunts or whatever that is just oh my god, you will it's, see as we go yeah. into it. But it uh, is fucked up, you guys. Um, also pre warn you i'm gonna be swearing a lot in this episode yeah. because i'm just it just makes me so uncomfortable yeah so just just a heads up that's probably gonna be happening yeah um i guess i'll go first because yours kind of seems a little more wild than mine i, think, and I know I think, yours has a lot of drama yeah mine i didn't go too too much into the drama because i would have been here for literally Forever. years <laughs> but i have i don't know i'm like i'm at like six pages of info so Um, it's a lot and this is like on my computer too it's not even like six pages of my massive writing that's insane yeah so yeah you go for it girl yeah okay um so i'm gonna like tell you guys what an extreme oh here i'm literally i'm such a fucking idiot (laughs) i have the definition of an extreme haunt and extreme immersive horror directly in front of me i'm really embarrassed for you um so an extreme haunt is a physically intense experience born from a haunted house that evokes a given theme through the set design scare actors costumes and messiness often with a focus of enduring on surviving the experience across various intensity levels extreme immersive horror also known as eih is a cinematic, theatrical, and physically or psychologically intense experience that actively engages participants through interactions, um, themes, and or strong narratives. They use physical or psychological horror to enhance the fear and add consequences to choices. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I've actually, I feel like I've done something like immersive horror. Like, I did this thing. Why? Well, not not that intense. It was like a... not very on brand for you. um, I know. (laughs) But it was quite fun. So I actually, like, I did a lot oh, of, Oh, like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. I'm zombie so syndrome. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I am I feel like that because I remember you telling me about this. Yeah, like, you, you had, like, choices to make, and, like, we yeah. were, like, running all over the city, and there were, like, zombies that you'd, like, run into, and you had to, like, get away from them. So I feel like that's yeah. kind of more... But, I mean, that wasn't as extreme because it was outside, and yeah, it was like pretty... Yeah, like, the zombie... The zombie children were allowed. that they do. Yeah. Yeah, so fun. Yeah. Um, with a lot of these ones that I was, like, reading up about, there's absolutely no children allowed in these 
extreme haunts. So yeah, no children allowed in my night. No, absolutely not. Um, um, so the extreme haunt that I am going to be talking about is called Castle of Chaos. Um, it is in Midvale, Utah. Huh. Yeah. So they've been around for 20 years, not as an extreme haunt. Um, I actually, <laughs> I, for those of you who don't know, I hate haunted houses. I went in one when I was 12 years old. That was it for me. I will never go in one again. I don't like it. I don't like getting scared. No, Listen, I, think we ta- I think we've talked about this. Yeah, I don't, I don't enjoy it. Yeah, um, yeah. Today I was in the in the back room at work and I was like, my back was facing the thing and I was like doing something in the <laughs> freezer and like one of my coworkers like came in and just threw the door open and like screamed and I genuinely like shit myself. Like I like did the like, <laughs> like I like like skipped a breath and was like, oh my God. <laughs> and like couldn't breathe. I was like, I hate you. Oh, I was like, no. please don't do this to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's never not fun, again. please. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm scared very easily. But so this one, it's not just an extreme haunt. This place actually looks kind of cool. Um, so they have escape rooms, regular haunted houses, and then they rooms. have. Yeah, I w- don't think I'd like theirs because they're scary. Oh, yeah. no, thank you, I can't deal with that. Normal ones are fun. <laughs> normal ones are great. Uh, scary ones. No, thank no, you. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, so they have like regular haunted houses. They're haunted houses. Um, I shouldn't say regular. So they have levels of fear haunted houses. Yeah, so these see, aren't the I'm extreme out. haunt. I'm out. What? Of fear? No, 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 no. Like literal levels. You so you, so here, I'll, I'll dive into it. So okay. you have level one. This is the one that I think I would be interested in. Level one is called Monsters Be Gone. You have a glow stick. And if you <laughs> hold up your glow stick, the monsters will stay at a distance. They oh, won't come so near cute. you. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my so God. So I think <laughs> that, that is right up my alley. I take it back. That's so yeah. cute. I'm totally into that. Yes, that would perfect for me you've made me alive yes thank you um then they have level two which is the general admission which kind of stand stands um which kind of sounds like just a regular haunted house the Mm -hmm. monsters don't touch you but they also don't stay away from you um then level three is hands-on you're going to be touched but you're not going to be moved no i'm out so they'll like grab you (laughs) level four is extreme hands-on horror (laughs) um so you might be restrained moved or threatened yeah, also, that's also a no. Yeah. Um, also, keep in mind, this isn't even the extreme haunt. What? <laughs> this is just their regular haunted house with levels. Oh, my God. And then level five is ultimate hands-on horror, and it says only for our most daring customers. Um, level three through five aren't available in 2020 because of COVID, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then they have Crucible, which is their extreme haunt, which is only, um, it's only been around since 2018. Um, but it sounds pretty freaky and pretty wild about it. <laughs> yeah so okay so this is a quote a direct quote from their website mm-hmm. that what it says it says are you looking for something more intense think you have what it takes to survive and experience beyond anything utah has ever seen before are you a glutton mm-hmm. for punishment mm-hmm. if you were willing to submit yourself to utah's scariest team of psychopaths then you might have a chance at surviving our extended level five immersive horror experience. But we doubt it. People are flying in from all over the country to resolve <laughs> against us. As of this time, only one person out of state what? has successfully finished. Out of state. So. Out of state. Yeah. Okay. So one person who have, has gone uh, from out of state to Utah has actually finished it. Nobody else has finished it. So this shit is long. This is not like a, like, oh, I'm going to walk through a haunted house and it'll, like, maybe be an hour. It runs, depending on what time you start. So the one the one video I found, this guy was super informative <laughs> also. This guy apparently loves this extreme haunts. His YouTube is Scaredy Cat Vasquez. Um, Thanks, Scaredy Cat. Thank you for teaching me all about this but he like dives into all of this and like gives you like literally the lowdown and like how it goes and it was it was really cool but so this guy um his ran from 10 30 p.m to 7 30 a.m uh, <gasps> he only made it till 5 a.m oh yeah. my god so he was in there from 10 30 to 5 what is that and 10 hours? <laughs> yeah no, almost nine like, no. that's nine hours nine hours no fucking thank you jesus and yeah. he made it he made it seven hours yeah you know what fucking good for you buddy seven yes. hours of terror mm-hmm. although i would be so disappointed if i left and they're like oh you only had two hours left i'd be like god, fucking damn, it. <laughs> god damn it yeah um 
This one, actually, I will say, it does sound quite lovely. <laughs> not lovely. Not the house. Not the house. <laughs> the people who run it, they sound oh, okay. quite lovely. Um, I actually called them because they didn't have any prices on their website. You <laughs> so called them? I made that long distance call to ask them how much it was. And it's $100. Yeah, it's $100, which That's I was like, really cool. I thought it was going to be way more expensive than that. I don't know what I was expecting. But I was like, for like something to run from 10.30 p.m. to like 7.30 a.m. And you're the only ones in there. It's not like it's like you and a bunch of other people. Oh, really? Like when you sign up, that's it. Like it's just you can guys. Can you it's go in? Can you like go in groups? You if can. You want? Yeah. Oh, I think okay. it was like max of four. But like that's what I mean. Like it's only you and the people you're with. Nobody else is going to be in there. Like oh. no other strangers are going to be in there with oh, you. I It'll see. be you and the actors. I see. So this guy did it with four of his friends. Mm-hmm. Um, his other fr- three friends actually made it through, which is wild. Mm, um, so also I would be again so disappointed. Yeah. No, thank Everyone you. else made it but me. Yeah. Not, um, so not that, I mean, although I probably would get, like, literally five minutes in and be like, all right, that was great. Yeah. I'm fucking out. No, thanks. thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they have um, a waiver. The waiver is not that long, but they do make you read out the whole waiver and sign it on video. That's good. Um, yeah. So there's actually a video on their website of these two guys who were, like, one of the first few people to try it. I think one of them actually works there, like, in the regular haunted house. Um like he did at the time or after the fact or do you know uh before so before okay. crucible because crucible is new he worked at just the regular haunted house and he decided I he wanted see. to do crucible um so in the waiver it, it states that you cannot have mental or physical disabilities including ptsd anxiety or depression so <laughs> wouldn't make it no. um <laughs> <laughs> and that's three for three yeah. <laughs> um they, the waiver also states that anything you're wearing might be damaged or stained. Uh, one Ugh. of the guys who came back after this, his shirt was, like, ripped to shreds. Oh, and he Jesus. was, like, covered in, like, weird, gross, slimy-looking blood. Um, their waiver also has an option for you to do a delayed safe word. So, of course, there's a safe word. If you are, like, way too overwhelmed and this is just too much for you, you can tap out with your safe word. But their waiver has a delayed safe word option where you say the safe word um, and they have 10 minutes to kind of slowly dial it back down to zero rather than just completely stopping. Why would they do that? I wonder. Um, first, I fucking, I don't know. Both these guys did the delayed safe word. <laughs> Maybe so that you don't literally go into shock. <laughs> yeah. Well, cause like, I think it's like, cause they're like, these people want it to like seem more real. So it's not going to be like, I say my safe word. And then everyone's like, well, hands off. <laughs> like, mm, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't fully understand it. Okay. That makes um, sense. But yeah, so one of the guys in the video that I did watch, he did wave his safe word, and he made it seven hours and 20 minutes before tapping out. Um, oh, so you don't completely wave your safe word? You, um, no, no, no. You, you wave it so that it, delay. like, does a gradual delay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, as we talked about, there's five levels for the haunted houses, and then Crucible, which is would be, like, their level 10. Um, Jesus. Yeah. So also weird, weird, weird correlation. You know Danny Trejo from like Machete and from Dusk Till Dawn. Oh yes. Uh, yeah. He he did a like guest spot there where he what? was like one of the actors really? for four nights. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. funny. I like him. Um, I think he's funny. Yeah. In 2017, he there's like a video of him being like, "Where you want to get the full experience?" Jesus. <laughs> he was like, "Come to Utah." And I was like, what "Right the now." Fuck is this? That's yeah. Funny. Um, so Danny Trejo, man, man was Modern. acting at this thing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so him. so strange. It's like it's like the scary version of Johnny Depp visiting kids in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean outfits. Yeah, it's like the scary version. Yeah. What a um, guy. So yeah, with so on the, there's actually this website that I found um, called Haunting, and it just like it, it's all about this like extreme haunt world. It has haunted houses, mm-hmm. immersive horror, everything, and it just basically rates everything. So mm-hmm. on their website, they give you a percentage of intensity. Mm-hmm. Um, their intensity for Castle of Chaos was a hundred percent. Yes, so That's a lot of intensity. You are going to have full contact, restraints, temperature changes, suffocation, electricity, force feeding, etc. All that bad yeah, shit. Yeah, literally, fuck that. Force yeah. feeding? Fuck that. Yeah. So, you um, can't make me. It's going to test you both physically and psychologically. But the one thing with this one that I, like, after watching um, Vasquez's video, mm-hmm. so he said, apparently, his video was from, I think, two years ago, but he said, apparently, McKamey Manor was doing a, like, a contest where they were like, anybody who can make it through, like, $20,000 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and he said, you cannot pay me any fucking amount of money to do McKamey Manor. Because he was like, the thing is with these, 
um he said that you always feel safe a lot of the people who work there are actually like medically trained Mm -hmm. so he's like you never feel unsafe they have a therapy room for once you're done so Mm. you're you they won't let you leave if you're like off your fucking rock or freaking out still they will not let you leave until you're like mentally like calm and cool and collected and you're okay and they have like people on site just to make sure that you get home okay after which this is what i mean that sounds lovely (laughs) the thing is and one one thing they said like i was watching videos from um the guy who runs it as well as obviously vasquez and he was saying that like you never you never feel unsafe and it's not like the the point of the house is not to psychologically break you Mm -hmm. they actually want you to succeed so like even if you like use your safe word and you go into the therapy room and then you're like i want to go back like they'll be like are you sure like you want to go back and like oh. you can go back in they'll that let you go back lovely. in because they want you to finish like yeah. that's the thing is like they <laughs> I, I don't understand it fully but they want you to finish no, that um, is kind of lovely yeah but they yeah but they like from the videos that i watched like <laughs> it was funny because a lot of it was like psychological quote-unquote torture like they're like verbally abusing you and like yeah restraining you and all these things and like to me (laughs) for a split second Mm -hmm. i thought maybe just maybe i could possibly do this (laughs) maybe why would you i feel like psychologically (laughs) i'm numb (laughs) oh my god i just don't like jump scares and then not even half a second later uh there was a video of somebody putting a tarantula on a woman i was like yep no absolutely not no and she was like restrained in a chair and i was like no they're, they put bugs on you like it's gross and it's creepy and mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't get it like they're like like ugh. like they're throwing fake blood on you and they're ripping your clothes off and like in one of the like they have some photos on their website and there's like they're putting like maggots in people's mouths Ew. It's gross it's, uh. it's it's i don't i don't understand it oh i God, i just don't understand so why you gross. want to do it Sweet. yeah it's <laughs> like it was uh and they like like restrain you in chairs and they have like little like like they like electrocute you but it's not enough to like actually hurt you they just like shock you <laughs> yeah okay. like shock collars like I, I can't i don't know what he was wearing in the video but like in one of the videos like it looked like he was genuinely had like a dog shock collar on i don't know if that's what it was because they didn't say what it was but i was like i'm pretty sure that's like that's a sh- like a shock collar so like if you like are shouting barking. or anything like yeah th- you're gonna get shocked um I but guess. yeah they it's it, it's freaky they they have it's a full hands-on like they will have like multiple people like put a bag over your head and grab you and like throw you like in one of them they like had like a coffin and they like threw this girl in the coffin and like shut the coffin and fucking locked it like oh. locked her in there and i was like absolutely not yeah no thank I'll you and they have like these floorboards pass. where they can like lift up the floorboards and like put you like basically like in the in a, like a, a grave and you're just like in there and they're like fucking video like i think the one thing that would like fuck me up it's like just the videotaping you mm-hmm. like where they're like in your face with a camera like that to me i'm like mm. well it's just like so obviously entertainment yeah oh and, like i get why they do it but like for me it's just like it's just so obviously you know making my absolute abject terror mm-hmm. be a, a funny thing yeah um although i don't know if anyone's watching these videos and laughing but no oh god no <laughs> but this this one guy like he genuinely seems to like enjoy doing these he's done quite a few of them by the sounds of it um i didn't really watch many of his other videos but this one he was talking about him actually like doing quite a few other ones but he mm-hmm. was saying like they're gonna push you but they're not gonna try to like break you mm-hmm. um they want to see how far you can go psychologically and they're always super proud of people who make it mm-hmm. um and from I don't know a lot about the haunt, extreme haunt community, but from what it sounds like, it's, it's like an accomplishment to do these. Mm -hmm. Like of like, it's like a, like proof of like your psychological strength. Um, I mean, like, I agree that that's probably what, what the, uh, the, like the shiny trophy is is like yeah yeah, i'm like mentally a fucking boss ass bitch but also i think that i'm I'm Uh, that's not something i'd want to be like (laughs) guess what i did yeah like (laughs) i had maggots shoved in my mouth they put fucking tarantulas on me they threw up on me like what the hell like i'd be a little bit more like i feel like if i met someone and they told me that i'd be a little bit more like Oh, scared of them. wow (laughs) (laughs) i'd be scared of you honestly like yeah literally like i mean 
I no guess, judgment I to know, people who though. do these. Yeah, I'm fucking all the power to you because I there is absolutely no way I'd be able to. But no, I'm yeah, gonna be the, real. You guys stress me out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm I'm so stressed. <laughs> I'm okay, stress watching so the video on their website they don't have. The thing with this one, I know McKamey has a lot of video of, like, people inside. Mm -hmm. With this one, they don't really have that. Mm -hmm. They release the video to you, but they don't release the video, like, on their website or on their... They have, like, some photos on their website of, like, shit that Mm -hmm. is done, but they don't... They don't have... They don't really have videos of people in there. They have a couple, like, but not... Nothing like what I've seen from McKamey and nothing like from what I've seen in that, um that documentary about the extreme haunts like nothing like that this one guy said he's like you know like i asked them if i could post these videos and like even his videos like they weren't really like that much like there wasn't really a lot of stuff that was like inside the house Mm -hmm. um so they really like respect your privacy on like that standpoint like they're not like yeah (laughs) but it's yeah it's stressful like that Mm -hmm. like yeah i just yeah it's mm -mm. just straight fucked yeah like a lot of them like you're getting like like strapped into chairs and like i know like they're like one of them they were like replaying like a horror like dental scene where they're like uh, in your no, fucking no. mouth with like pliers no, and stuff no, like no, that no, 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 no. like it's yeah it's it's wild like they're the stuff that's in there like of course like there's not that many videos on this one and there's not that many photos but from what this guy described like this is like one of the more like intense ones that he's done yeah um it, it's very like immersive and like th- i think they have a new theme every year but the theme that it was when he went was um asylum so it was like you were a patient in a mental asylum okay i gotta be honest that shit scares me yeah that shit is scary okay yeah. i don't want it Mm-mm. i've seen american horror story asylum yeah okay no fucking thank you no thanks i'll pass yeah. no but they were yeah it was <sighs> i just Ooh, it, it, i just i don't get it mm-hmm. i don't fully understand it but yeah it was it is a lot of like like shit literal shit being thrown on you and like dirt and like they ripping your clothes human off human feces on you i don't think it was human feces but feces all the feces. same feces yeah that, oh God. Okay. feces bugs i don't okay i don't think they were maggots i think they were like maybe mealworms or something you know those like Still big looking maggot gross. things gross yeah. but they were in people's Horrible. mouths and it looked uh, gross uh, <laughs> Ugh, it was rotten and then the tarantula yeah. no fucking thank you yeah mm-hmm. but they like it gross bugs and like there was another one that i was reading mm-hmm. about I, d- I don't know if it was in the because the theme changes obviously they're like updating it every year and this also sorry i should say this is a year-round thing this isn't just a halloween thing mm-hmm. like this is something that people do all year round yeah um but they were like they have like a snake pit with like literal fucking snakes in it oh no and they like put you in the snake pit I yeah. see here's where I'm at I feel like th- I'm taking the other the other end of, of things here, but I feel like that's like animal cruelty yeah no I agree with you a lot of the stuff like- I was like because like that's the thing is like if I th- I'm not I don't want to eat bugs but if I had a bug in my mouth my initial reaction isn't to keep my fucking mouth open my initial reaction is try to spit them out and close my mouth yeah thus probably killing the bug that is yeah. in my fucking mouth and like People are really, really scared of snakes. And if you put a yeah. person in a snake, they're going to be trying to fucking kick them, stop mm-hmm. them. Like, they're not going to just, like, let mm-hmm. them crawl around. Yeah. I, I can't remember which I one it was. Really I don't know if snakes, it was Castle so. of Chaos, but it was it was definitely one of them. They had, like, a snake pit, and they said, like, they had, like, a freaking, like, big-ass python that, like, threw in the pit on somebody. Oh. Yeah. No. See, I'm, I just feel you. bad for the snake in that situation. Yeah. But I'm, I really like snakes, so, I mean, that's a... I guess a personal mm-hmm. thing, but still, that seems like seems a little cruel. Yeah. Anyway, um, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, but it's all it's all fucking it's overnight. It's a long ass thing. It's not like these aren't like. Long. Yeah, these aren't like something where it's like you're gonna be there for like an hour or two. Like you are gonna be there for like eight hours, eight yeah. or nine hours. Like that is actually insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, it tests like every every part of you physically psychologically your fucking endurance like everything you mm-hmm. don't get bad like there was this oh one of the guys like pissed himself really like he and they kept going oh because he didn't say a safe word like that was what they were like interviewing him at the end and they were like yeah so you like soiled yourself halfway through and you like kept going and he was like yeah yeah that's all he said i was like oh, oh okay <laughs> moving on i'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah like no these people literally like the people who do this like just see it as a literal accomplishment mm-hmm. like that 
I just... Which, like, yeah, I mean, I get it, because it's, like, that's about the most badass thing you can do, I mm-hmm. guess, but also it just seems so unnecessary to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I feel like you, I don't have to have maggots put in my mouth to be like, no. yeah, I'm a tough bitch. I am a tough yeah. bitch, and I've never had bitch. maggots in my mouth. I just don't like bugs. Yeah, like... Is that too much? I don't know. I'm and also, and, and I can't for me, see... too, it's like, it's not even, it's not, like, I don't care. It's like, it's not even about that. It's just like, what does me chewing rotten eggs have to do with, yes, with my literally. tough level? Yes, That doesn't make yeah, me I'll... tough. That makes me fucking that was weird like that I'm thing. chewing a, lot of a rotten it was like, egg. Like, it's like rotten food and, like, like stuff like that. Like, like shoving literal, like, fucking molding food in your mouth. And, like, mm-hmm. people will be, like, vomiting in these and like yeah mm-hmm. keep going because mm-hmm. you haven't said your safe word vomiting and shit in your pants ain't a safe word mm-hmm. literally yeah. true not not a fucking safe word the safe word is i think the safe word for this one was actually safe word <laughs> yeah. sure simple hard to forget simple, straight to the point mm-hmm. safe word you're not gonna say it in the sentence otherwise true enough um well i guess that's a i'm just gonna start in on mine then mm-hmm. so danny kind of mentioned it a, a, a few times um, I am doing the classic, I would say probably the most well-known. Yeah, there's maybe, a documentary like on it. What is it called? I can't remember. Haunters, The Art of Scaring. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was on Netflix, but now it's not. Yeah. So I'm doing the the big the big boy. I'm doing um, McKamey Manor. Um, and yeah, Danny's was really hardcore. Don't get me wrong. But like, I feel like they have a, some some lines they, they don't, they won't cross. Oh, absolutely. There are no lines. Yeah. For McKamey Man. There's nothing. They do not give a fuck. It's, whew. I'm just going to jump right in. Um, because I, I don't even, I'm just going to go in on it. <laughs> so, um, McKamey Manor is now in Summertown, Tennessee. It's still open in 2020. Um, there's a big COVID write up on their website. Um, but it was pretty Oh, they are open. Yeah, they are. Wow. Yeah. Well, at least their website says they are. Yeah, That's there's crazy. there's COVID restrictions okay, and shit. I will but... say a lot of these other ones that I was looking at, they're yeah. still open, and they're like, "But we're wearing masks," and I'm like, "If you're touching me, we are not six sir? feet apart at yeah. any given point. Ever. Like, we are always in each other's faces. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck if you're wearing a mask. I don't want Literally. you that close to me." Yeah. Um. Actually, sorry, quick side note. Um. One of the websites I went on. Um. The immediate first thing on the website is um. So we've actually had to close for the year because two of our actors contracted COVID. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, yeah, hmm, that'll yeah. do her. That'll do her. When you're, like, literally spitting in people's faces, like, probably, probably not a great get, idea. Yeah, not the best. We're in a pandemic, friends. Um, so, yeah, they're in Summertown, Tennessee. Previously, they were in San Diego, California, but California was like, um, fuck that. We don't want you here. So, <laughs> you had to move to Tennessee. Um, the admission price is a bag of dog food. That's it. Um, you can donate, what? yeah, you can donate money, uh, but that's it. It's just a, a bag or, or some dog food. Does he um, have plenty of dogs? He has a few dogs, but he donates them all to Greyhound Rescue, allegedly. That's, that's quite lovely. We'll get into allegedly <laughs> later. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um, so the requirements of, of being able to do, um, McKamey Manor is you have to be 21 and above. Or you can be um, 18. 21. Yeah, 20. Well, 21 is legal in the States, right? Well, that's drinking age. That's not. You're a legal adult at 18. In the States? Mm-hmm. You can vote at 18. Oh, well. Either way, 21 and above. Interesting. Um, or 18 and up with parental approval. Um, you must have completed a sports physical and have a doctor's letter saying you're physically and mentally cleared. Jesus. Um, so if you don't know what a sports physical is, if you're not a sporty human, that's fair. I've never actually had one. Um, but you have to pee in a cup. They feel you your body. You do the stress test, right? Yeah, they do the stress test. They do a bunch yeah. of shit just to make sure that your your body okay. is, is in peak. Walk upstairs and breathe. Yeah. Yeah, it's just fucked. Um, and then you have to pass a background check provided by McKinney Manor. You have to be screened on FaceTime or a phone call, something like that before they they'll allow you to do it you must have proof of medical insurance you yep jesus christ you must sign a detailed 40 page waiver 40 pages okay 40 so i i have some pages i'm gonna read out later and it's wild 
Um, and the last thing is that you have to pass a portable drug test the day of the show. So to make sure that you're Fuck not you, high. You be high. Yeah, no. I think it's better that you're sober for this anyways. Um, so I went on the website and they did have uh, a warning section and I'm going to read that out. So it says here, be warned. Warmed. Warmed. Be warned. Be toasty. <laughs> yes. Um, McCamey Manor is not your standard haunted house. This is an audience participation event in which you will live your own horror movie. This is a rough, intense, and truly frightening experience. You must be in, and this is in all caps, great health to participate. Last year's haunt was absolutely nothing compared to the new McCamey Manor. Oh. New for 2020, McCamey Manor presents Descent. The new evolution in interactive survival horror theater. Um, understand that each tour will be different based upon your personal fears and can last up to six hours. Absolutely not. Yeah. Each guest will be mentally and physically challenged until you reach your personal breaking point. Uh, more on that later. Do not wear expensive clothing. Do not bring anything that can get wet. This is going to be an aggressive experience and our actors will come, on, will come into contact with you. You cannot in any way return the contact. If anyone becomes rowdy, pushing, shoving, running, they will immediately be removed. No questions asked. Um, anyone that has been drinking alcohol or taking drugs will not be allowed into the haunt and will be asked to leave the property. At check-in, you will be required to show ID. The waiver process for descent will last two hours. One performance only per, uh, per week, sorry, year round. So one a week, so only 52 a year. Um, specific requirements must be met in order to ever take the tour. Think about the average 10 to 20 minute haunt or theme park at Halloween and what you've experienced. Was it really interactive and scary? The new McCamey Manor you will experience thrills, uh, sorry, in the new McCamey Manor you will experience thrills that you have never seen before. You will be tested to your very core. If things become too much, you can always quit if we let you. Ah. Yep. No. Yep. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the new one is like. Cause when did was that documentary from? Like I I watched that documentary like three years ago. I feel like and I don't think it was a new documentary when I, I watched it. Twenty sixteen. And it was fucked back then. Yeah. That was like <laughs> I don't even want. It. If it's yeah. more fucked now, are you kidding me? Yeah. No. They literally they just keep upping the ante. Oh god. Um, which I I talk about a little bit too. Um. So. When I was talking about reaching your personal breaking point, uh, I said more on that later. I'm going to touch on that. So when Danny was talking about her her extreme haunt, they don't want to break you, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they take you out. They have people making sure you're okay. If you want to go back in, you can't. The literal, the entire point of McCamey Manor is to break you mentally. The entire point. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Um, I'm going to talk a little something? bit. Yeah, go for it. Because he moved. Is he still doing it out of his house? Uh, yeah. So basically, <laughs> the entire thing, it's not in his house. What it is, he has a house and a property. And in the back of the property, there's essentially a shed. Oh. Yeah, it's a shed. and It's, it's set up. small. Yeah, it's small. We'll post oh. a picture of it. It's not very big. Oh. Because um, the last he... one, the old one was in his basement, right? And he lived in a very, I remember in that documentary, he lived in a very residential area. I think at the very, very, very beginning of it, when it was mostly just yeah. an actual, like, haunted house, um, it was in his basement. And it used to be yeah. just, like, you walk through and, like, people, like, will yeah, maybe touch you a that. little bit, but it wasn't that crazy. And it wasn't then, an extreme haunt. Yeah, exactly. And now it just has been going up and up and up. Um, and, like, in the place he's in now, he has, like, a moat fucking, uh -oh. <laughs> like, a dugout with water. There's some, there's, some people say there's crocodiles in it, some don't, I don't think there is. Um, Where is he? He's in Tennessee. I mean. I mean, there could be, but there I. There could be, maybe they're not his, but maybe they just stop by occasionally. Well, the thing is, he puts people in the water in the moat. Oh. Sometimes that's part of the, the thing. So he that's something, too, neighbor. that, that was hard to distinguish. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, his neighbors hate him. All of them yeah. hate him. Um, which, I mean, can't really blame you. Because nothing is soundproofed. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they have a moat. Um, sometimes that's part of the thing. Sometimes that's not. He changes it up all the time. It's really crazy. You never know what you're getting. Yeah, honestly. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the waiver right now. 
So um, I'm going to kind of tell you about it, and then I'm going to read you some of the pages of the waiver. Um, so they always have a waiver ceremony, which we talked about, the, the two-hour one, the waiver process for the, the new one this year. Um, but yeah, it's waiver ceremony. Jesus. Um, well, um, in previous years, like before they were this extreme, it would take five hours. Oh my God. Yeah. Five hours, which I think it's just all part of the, the haunt. Like it's all part of the experience, the, yeah. the five hours, because what they do is they take you out to a park. Yeah, um, I remember that mm-hmm, he like mm-hmm. met people like in the middle of butt fuck nowhere yeah. to like pick them up. Yeah. And then he called the police there um, to just be like, hey, just so you know, this is what I'm doing. So no one come and bug us while we're doing our haunt. Um, And during the ceremony, you create a safe word, which is specifically chosen to be like a humiliating phrase. Um, For example, I'm Sage and I thought I was brave. I'm weak and McCain Manor is too tough for me. That's your safe word. (laughs) You have to say that in order to get out. Um, and you can also waive your rights to a safe word entirely. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, not even, not even like you have to do it. Like not, not like yours where you know you can, you can make it a, a timed one where you know yeah. you have. No, you, you just don't get one. See the other thing with mine that yeah. I like, I don't like anything about this, but like, if they feel like you're like at the point and you're just not saying anything, they'll take you out. Well, no, he does that too. So oh, I'll talk okay. about that as well. Um, but you can waive your right to have a safe word. Um, And in, you know, more recently in the last few years, while people are signing these waivers, they're already starting the experience. So people are already pulling your hair, slapping you, choking you. They already have their hands in your mouth, um, which is literally (laughs) the definition of duress, which the duress is threats of violence, constraints, or other action used to coerce someone into doing something against their will or better judgment. Yeah. Literally under duress. Sign the freaking raver raver sign the raver (laughs) yeah so like yeah there's um a a girl her name's christina buster um i talk about her a little bit later but during her waiver ceremony she's sitting in freezing cold water with two friends they're smacking her in the face they're they're saying no you don't even need to fucking read this just sign it just sign it and they're like encouraging her not to read the waiver what the fuck yeah so um i'm gonna read some pages of the waiver that i have here um Thank you, Reddit, for leaking this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so here, Clause 49, participant fully understands and agrees that they may come in contact with carbon monoxide poisoning with regard to use of artificial fog. Oh. Participant fully understands and agrees that once participant enters McCamey Manor, there is no quitting unless serious physical or psychological injury is present. Participant fully understands that injuries may occur during their their tour of mm which making manner which may include but are not limited to head neck and back injuries death stroke traumatic <gasps> brain injury brain aneurysms cerebral or retinal hemorrhage subdural or subdural hematoma loss of consciousness whiplash harmful heart reactions nausea headache dizziness lacerations broken or sprained bones, torn ligaments, bleeding wounds, scrapes and or cuts, heat stroke or drowning, and does not hold McCamey Manor responsible. Oh my god. What? <laughs> yeah. How is that even legal? So that's, the, that's I mean, that's the big thing with this guy. It's not. But I'm going to read a few more, um, and then we'll talk about a bit Sorry, about where that. was he before? He moved to Louisiana? California. He's in, yeah. And he moved because he was getting black in california well basically or california just... was like absolutely not this is mm, you're not yeah. doing this here um so participant fully understands and agrees that their tour may include the use of hypodermic needles zappers tasers or dog shock collars <sighs> participant fully understands and agrees that various fluids such as food coloring grease theatrical blood or other liquids may be placed in participant's mouth it is participant's responsibility not to swallow these fluids um, participant fully understands and agrees that being scared, having a panic t- attack, etc., does not count as serious injuries. I beg to differ. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> participant fully understands and agrees that a nail may pierce their hand. Uh, Part- uh, yeah. Oh, like, oh, oh, uh, mm-hmm. like, wait, a fingernail or like a nail? Like a, a nail that you use to build things. <sighs> participant fully understands and agrees that their hand may be smashed with tools. 
Oh my god. Participant fully understands and agrees that choking may occur and that gagging or vomiting may occur. Yeah, I've seen that where they like literally Ooh. make you throw up. Yeah. Um, I'm, only, I'm just going to read like just like maybe two more. Um, participant fully understands and agrees that if they are selected to visit the dentist that they may have a tooth extracted without mm-hmm. Novocaine and will not hold <laughs> McCainy Manor. No! Mm-hmm. Oh, God. That would be the first thing that man did to me. I'd be like, fuck this. You yeah. Just take me to a regular dentist. That's enough psychological torture. No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, one more here. Participant fully understands and agrees that they will be participating in various medieval torture devices, such as knife throwing while strapped to a spinning wheel, <gasps> shackles, chains, gibbet cage, stocks, the rack, etc. What's a gibbet cage? Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't know. <laughs> it's the shape of a body. But it's just metal bars oh, around. Oh, I've seen I've seen that, and they have yeah. like pokey. Like, uh, no, not no? pokey. It's basically they hang you from it, and you can't move, and you just die. Ooh. We'll post a photo. Where does he get these things? Uh, history. No, no, but like, oh, I mean, the actual cage. Physically, I don't know, <laughs> man. Maybe he makes them. Maybe. Oh. Um, and that's another thing too about the manor. It's really hard to find anything about it. Like everything is just hearsay. I feel like, yeah. I mean, there's for a few reasons, things. Yeah. Like... Well, and there's a few things like, for example, the waiver is real, but like, it's so hard to find concrete information on this. It's so hard. Has anybody um, actually like finished it? I'm getting there. Oh, sorry. The answer is no, though. Not oh, okay. a single person has ever finished it. Um, but we'll, I'll talk about that too. Um, but the thing about this waiver. <laughs> Is that it? It would never hold up in a court of law, because no. you cannot sign away your basic human rights. Yeah. Like you can't. Like it's the same. It's the same thing. Like if I were to be like, you know what, Danny, I really just don't want to be alive. You have my full written permission to shoot me in the head with a gun. Yeah. You would still go to jail. You would still go to jail for murder. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I mean, even look at what's her name. Who was her name? The the, the girl who said. Oh, to her boyfriend. boyfriend to yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that bitch she didn't still... get off scot-free. No. Nope. So. <laughs> yeah. So, and like, all she did was said, yeah, you should do it. That, yeah, she wasn't even Well, there. not all she did. Not all I mean, she did. Yeah, like, she did what she did was but... awful. But, like, that's nothing compared to this. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, like, you just, you cannot sign away your, your basic human rights. You can't tell someone, yeah, if, if I die doing this, it's fine. Well, I mean, I guess you can because you do sign waivers when you do skydiving and stuff. Yeah, but I feel like that's different. But also it's different because this guy didn't get a lawyer to draw this up. Like, it's full of spelling mistakes. It's obviously just part of the experience. Nice. It's just the start of the psychological torture, essentially. Like, it's like, yeah, yeah, perfect example. Like, when you go into surgery, like, you you know that there is a possibility of death, but if it is absolutely, like, malpractice and it's their fault that you died, yeah, Yeah. you can absolutely sue them. Your family can sue them. Yeah, so... Yeah. Point is, this is bullshit. (laughs) This fucking waiver doesn't mean shit. Um, and, yeah. He's married, too, right? Mm, Twice. Married twice. Um, but, yeah. So, and another reason, too, is that you have to sign an NDA when you take this. Mm, Of course. So that's another reason that there's not a lot of info, because you're not allowed to talk about it. I wonder if that's new. Um... No, I don't think so. I think it's been that way. I think you can speak about a certain amount, but like, for example, like even his videos, like it shows hardcore stuff, but doesn't, it doesn't show nearly the worst of it. Mm -hmm. Right. So he wants to keep that between him and the participants, I suppose. Uh, Yeah. For So I watched, yeah, (laughs) um, I watched so many videos and I was sick to my stomach the entire time because this kind of shit makes me so uncomfortable. I mean, like, I think it makes normal people uncomfortable too, but like. I literally was, like, about to vomit several times. Um, but I just want to, I'm just going to fucking, just off the top of, you know, just skimming the top of the, the fucking water here of all the wild shit that I physically saw happening in these videos. Okay. Um, so you start off, um, I'm not sure if it's always or if it's sometimes, but you start off by being abducted either from your house or from an area. So they just come out of nowhere. They fucking blindfold you and shove you in the back of a car. They hold you Imagine underwater. They grab the wrong person. Oh god. 
<laughs> Could you imagine just walking down yes. the street, you're fucking doppelganger. You're like, what the hell is going like, on? You're not saying your safe phrase. Yes. <laughs> ah, what? what? What fucking safe phrase? Yeah. Let me go. Um, so, yeah, they start off by abducting you, holding, then they can hold you underwater for 30 seconds, and they'll hold you under there for 25 seconds, like physically with your hand, his hand on your head, so you can't come up, pull you up for 25 seconds, and be like, mm, you didn't do quite 30, and then put you back in over and over that's when a lot of people tap out um they pull out your fingernails and teeth oh like oh, they actually oh, do that oh fingernails yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah. that makes me ill yeah. oh you, god you can get I'm tattooed so sorry Ugh. oh, oh yeah. what yeah they, <laughs> so they can sorry. tattoo you oh, um god. they use mk ultra techniques um in terms of psychological torture so for those of you who maybe don't know um a good example if you've seen stranger things our main character, Eleven, she was an MK Ultra. Um, so what they do is they use um, LSD, basically, and other drugs for mind control, information gathering, and psychological torture. Um, and this hasn't been substantiated, but there are claims that he has fucking shot up people with LSD while they're in in the place. Oh, my God. But the thing is, it's hard because it's hard to distinguish what's actually happening from, like, the myth and the legend, you know. So that is not substantiated. That's just something I've heard. Yeah. Um, they cut off your hair and make you eat it. Mm-mm. They force you to eat rotten food, um, eggs, yeah. cheese, meat, <laughs> put live tarantulas on your face. They waterboard you. They taser you. They drill into your mouth with a massive fucking drill bit and into yeah. your nose. Um, when you go in to see a character they have called Mother, who's the one who feeds you the rotten food, um, mm. they make you eat your own and other people's vomit. They'll bury you alive. They'll literally put you in a coffin and bury you alive. I saw that. Alive. I saw one. I saw. I don't know if it was this one, but I was reading one on one where they put you in a body bag and they fucking bury you alive. Yeah, yeah, and that's one too. And they'll put like oh. a little straw in your mouth so you can breathe, and that's it. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> again, being drugged is is something that has been you know said a few times. Another one I saw is you. They will hold. They'll fish hook you. Which, if you don't know what fish hooking is, they'll put two fingers on each side of your mouth and hold it open. Uh, kind of like that game where you have the fucking plastic mouthpiece and you have to try to talk or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'll do that um, and then put live cockroaches on your head and they crawl uh, in your mouth and around oh your face. God, ew. Yeah. So that's just like a few things that I saw. That's not I, even all of it. Just why? Yeah. I Like, why would anybody want to do that? Like, I, I mean, the other ones, like, I kind of get it. But like this no, one? I don't. Why? I don't get it. I don't understand. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's that's the that's some of the the crazy shit I saw. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about Russ McCamey himself. Again, really fucking hard to find information about him. It's not really there's not much. So he's an he's ex U.S. Navy. Um, and has been accused of being a passive pedophile more than once by more than one person. Um, and by this I mean that he shares fantasies about children but hasn't acted anything out. Um, he's been accused of rape in the McKamey Manor. Yeah, I was not fucking surprised. Yeah, no, he's been accused of, um, rape and sodomy. Um, again, although I couldn't find any evidence to support this, this is just kind of a rumor that's floating around. Um, and he straight up (laughs) admits, he, like, straight up admits, he's like, yeah, no, I learned military interrogation and mind control techniques, and we use that in the manor. Like, point blank. Sick. Yeah. Um, he has two ex-wives now and literally i've seen interviews with both of them after they split not neither of them have a single good thing to say about him um and both have mentioned the the passive pedophile thing um he has i believe three kids and no relationship with any of them um and all his children have to say is at um is that at his has at his he has a really good heart and he's a loving person he's just very mentally ill and they do maintain that they never suffered abuse from him sexual or otherwise so but just how traumatizing like like your dad literally tortures people for fun in like your fucking shed out back yeah yeah like what and this is another um direct quote uh from from russ mckinney where he says compared to guantanamo bay we're a lot worse Mm. We oh. don't have months to break down people. We have oh, five nice. minutes. Nice. Yeah. The actors and the staff um, 
other than him or are all volunteers who previously have gone through and tried to complete the manor which yes. is fucked to me um yeah honestly mckinney manor isn't a haunted house it's a torture house yeah um and yeah like you really don't get to read over the waiver um before you start which again we kind of talked about not it doesn't mean anything anyways but still they you they just encourage you to sign it which you know it's kind of fucked yeah um and they don't respect the safe word or phrase half, half the time yeah like I've heard there, that. there's videos of people literally being like please let me out like i'm fucking done they say their safe word and they're like no you're not done yeah and they just continue going like it's crazy um so no one has ever completed mckamey manor um, and honestly, I think it's created that way because the tour can last anywhere from 30 minutes to over eight hours. Mm -hmm. So like, there's no, like, you know, like with yours, it's like, it lasts nine hours. It's from this yeah. time to this time, this, there's no time limit. It's anywhere yeah. from 30 minutes to eight hours. So there it's, it's literally designed to not be finished Yeah. because like, if you make it four hours, he can be like, oh, this was only going to be a five-minute tour. You were close. Yeah. Or maybe it was only supposed to be a five-hour tour, and you make it the five hours. Yeah. And, and he's like, just going to no, continue actually. going at it. Um, and then, and also, he can decide to take you out at any point if he thinks that your mental or physical health is genuinely in jeopardy. So if he, you know, which is good. But has he ever? Uh, like, yes. Did... Yeah, oh, he, he has. has? Oh. Um, but also, if someone is about to finish the thing he can just pull you out yeah. and be like you didn't complete it yeah because that's like what that guy was saying in that video about the twenty thousand dollar reward he was basically like there's literally no fucking way he's like you're never gonna get that money anyway like don't even fucking try he's yeah like, don't and, even and try. the thing too with the twenty thousand dollars is that there's no way there's no way that he has twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars a he's admitted that he lives off um an eight hundred dollar a month navy retirement fund nice eight hundred dollars a month and also um oh fuck i lost my train of thought again god damn it sage uh twenty thousand dollars oh yeah also sorry he owes a fuck ton of money in unpaid taxes to the state of california nice. which is one of the reasons he doesn't live there anymore like my he, guy like stop he accepting doesn't, dog food literally like <laughs> charge money charge actual i yeah. mean like people would pay like that i mean yeah well, Honestly, way... I was talking to Nico about this because, like, we're, I was saying how I thought it was going to be, like, so much more expensive than $100 because I was like, 100 bucks is so cheap, especially yeah. for something that's lasting eight hours and you're yeah. the only ones there. And Nico's like, yeah, but you got to think about it this way. The people who would want to do it would fucking do it for free anyway. Yeah. So, like, they'd do it for – they'd literally be tortured for free. So yeah. why – they'd probably also pay. No, they would. To get tortured as well. Well, I have – I when I talk about Christina Buster, we'll kind of go into that a little bit. Um, But – um, despite all of this, the fact that nobody has ever finished it, um, all of it, it's fucking the wait list year round is 24,000 people minimum. Yeah, I remember that from the... Which I think is a made up number, to be honest. I don't think that's real. But I remember one of the guys in the documentary, didn't he wait like four years or something like that? Yeah, but I think they really just pick and choose who yeah. they want to go through. We'll talk about that with when I talk about Christina. Mm -hmm. um but yeah i think that that number is bullshit um anywho um there's also there's petitions to shut it down there's um on the main one what is it what's the main isn't it change.org or something the main petition website oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. um there's a petition to shut it down up there with uh over 166,000 signatures um nice and that's not even like an old thing literally as i was typing out this sentence it went up five signatures. So, like, it's pretty, it's happening. People care uh, still. Um, and then if you're interested in watching documentaries about this, um, there is, you know, Haunters, the Art of Scare that was on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. I'm not sure where you can find it. Probably on YouTube, I would think. Sync? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Hello? <laughs> um, and then also uh, The Dark Tourist on Netflix. It's like a oh, really? Yeah, they do. I watched it. It's not the best episode, to be honest. Oh. They only spent, like, maybe 15 minutes on it. Um, but it's season one, episode eight. It's called Back in the USA, if you do want to check it out. Oh, I am definitely um, going to check it out. Yeah. I like that show. Yeah. So, last thing, really, I'm going to talk about when, uh, when it comes to McKamey Manor here is Christina Buster, um, who is, I would say, the most well-known guest from McKamey Manor. 
Um, she's gone through twice, as far as I'm aware. Um, that's the last we've heard, is oh, that she's gone twice. But uh, the last time she went through, she was planning on going a third time, and that was a few years ago. So, not sure. Um, and she even backed the crowd, because Haunters is a crowdfunded film. Uh, the entire budget for the film, I think, was $100,000. Um, mm-hmm. And it was all crowdsourced. Mm-hmm. Um, and she fucking... Oh, yeah, it's not the best quality film. <laughs> no, but it's really <laughs> Don't good. Don't go in... Yeah, you know, it's, it's really good, it's but really you good, don't go in expecting a cinematic masterpiece. Yeah. It, um, I could have filmed it. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> she, um, she fucking donated over $2,000 to it solely so what that she could go fuck? back a second time. Yeah. She traveled all the way from fucking Kuwait to go. <laughs> um, anywho, so Christina, the second time she went through, lasted four hours in the manor four Mm -hmm. okay so just for a little bit of context most people last less than half an hour the majority of people tap out in the first 15 minutes yeah dead ass yeah i wouldn't even make it through the fucking waiver and be like i know i'm out thank you yeah goodbye (laughs) well some people do that some people literally tap out after the waiver because a lot of the time in the waiver they're fucking hitting you and Mm -hmm. shoving you and they're fish hooking you while you're trying to sign a waiver um so she lasted four hours. Um, I watched her video, mm-hmm. and it's fucking wild. What was her um, name again? Sorry. Christina Buster. Christina Buster. Okay. Yeah. Buster Bar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, How long did she last the first time? First time, I think she was like an hour, oh, maybe. Okay. Oh, so second um, time she was... Yeah. And in committed. this second time, she did waive her right to the state forward. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, Christina, no. Yeah. And she made it. And the thing too, though, when they then when they wave the safe word, they do usually let them out. Anyways, it's yeah. just not when they ask. Oh. Um. So she did ask several times to be let out. Like she begged many times to be let out, and they completely ignored her. Um. And when she entered the manor, she had long hair that was like mid back. Oh, no. And finished uh with a buzz cut. Oh. Yeah. It was. Fucked. I'd be so upset. My yeah. fucking extensions i swear to god yeah don't, don't you, you touch, touch them. my fucking hair I'm yeah. and throughout the in, throughout the entire thing they're basically rubbing um like grease all over your face and in your hair yeah. um the entire time it's fucking disgusting and they're cutting off big chunks of her hair and shoving them in her mouth um she entered with two other people and as soon as the manor uh sorry and as soon as they went in basically the manor was playing them all against each other um, making them throw each other under bu- under the bus, talking to one girl and saying, okay, either I'm cutting your hair or I'm cutting her hair, and then making them pick. Um, at one point, they made they were cutting Christine's hair and was like, okay, the only way that we're going to stop cutting your hair is if you take this thing and you fucking buzz cut your friend's eyebrows off. <laughs> yeah. Um, so at Sage, one point... I would buzz cut your eyebrows. I'm so sorry. But... I would fucking shave you bald if you buzz cut <laughs> my eyebrows off. I don't give a fuck about your extensions. If you got rid of my eyebrows, ooh. Um, for those of you who don't know what I look like, if I had no eyebrows, I would look like a fucking potato. They're a pretty big part of my face. Um, and then at one point, um, for Christina, she's lying on a table. They're about to bring out tarantulas. Um, and one of the actors freaks out. And is like, holy shit, like, I fucking cut her foot. Like, I hit her artery. Like, it's bleeding everywhere. Like, and then they start freaking out. They're like, why were you squirming? Why are you moving? Like, if you hadn't moved, I wouldn't have cut your foot. Like, shit. Like, we, and they start talking amongst each other. Like, we need to get her out of here. Like, we need to call an ambulance. Like, she's going to bleed to death. Like, this is, like, this is not good at all. Um, and they, like, go on and on and on about how, and, like, one guy leaves to call an ambulance, and they literally, they are like, okay, Christina, like, are you feeling okay? They pull her up, and they're like, are you, look at your foot, like, do you feel okay? Do, are you in pain? And they completely break character. They completely end the whole thing, basically, mm-hmm. because they cut the fake? shit out of her foot. Oh, it wasn't fake. Well, they show it on camera, and it's bleeding everywhere. They pull her up from her lying down position, and they basically, they, like, show her her foot, and they're like, do you, like, what do you want to do? And she's like, fucking tape it up and keep going. Like, I'm not quitting. Yeah. She sees her foot bleeding everywhere, and she's like, tape it up and keep going. Um, And they continue going for the rest of however long they fucking duct tape her foot. Um, And, yeah, as a spectator of this, you have no idea what's going on. Like, I literally, I was like, is this happening? I was like, is it part of it? Is it happening? I have no mm. fucking idea. 
Um, is she oh, injured? Is it part of the game? I don't know. Um, and then when she, like, fucking decided to to tape it up and keep going, because they're like, we had an artery. I was like, what the fuck? This bitch doesn't give a fuck about anything. Oh, my God. Um, I feel... Okay, yeah. No, yeah, I was just... Going. Yeah, um, basically, after, you know, they keep going for the next however long, and then finally she fucking says her safe word. Um, and they go, and they do do exit interviews, and they make sure that mm-hmm. she's okay, and, like, with all of their participants, like, as soon as they, like, cut it, like, for real, safe word, everyone's smiling, and they're like, you did a really great job, and, like, they're, they're nice, but, I mean, <laughs> eh. Um, and so in this, they're talking, and, and they're like, you did a really good job, they gave her a blanket, they're, like, giving her hugs and stuff, and, you know, making sure she's okay. Um, and then she goes, she's like, is my foot actually okay? Mm -hmm. Um, and all of the actors are like, oh shit, no, like, your foot's really fucked up. Oh, it actually was? And they're like, yeah, this is not good, like, here, we'll show you, and they start untaping it. They're like, girl, like, I actually, I think you're gonna need to go, we'll take you to a hospital. There's nothing on her fucking foot! Her foot was fine! It's just, like, it's so fucked, because even after they say for it out, they're not in it anymore, they're still playing the game. Yeah. And they're still telling her, like, no, we're going to have to take you like to the hospital. Like, torment. Yeah. Like, it's just like, what? Like, I had no idea what was going on. And, like, imagine if you were actually in there. Like, that's ah, fucked. Yeah. Um, and so the video ends um, with Christina, Russ, and the rest of the actors who were there that night um, making plans for her to treat them all to a nice steak dinner. <laughs> so. Oh. Guess it can't be all that bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah my god yeah yeah i mean yeah i i feel yeah. like she maybe she knew, said she, but said it she had it she had a feeling but like it's just like it's just it's weird the because they they're willing to fully break the like break character break yeah. the entire scene that's going on well i guess that's like, not they, breaking character yeah i guess because they were dead ass <laughs> about to put a fucking tarantula on her face and then they're like oh shit and they like lights on stop what they're doing no more yelling are like are you okay are you feeling okay like like we're gonna take you to the hospital like we want to make sure that you're like i think she's gonna you know like it's fucked Mm -hmm. i'm like i can i don't oh god i would just immediately start panicking well it's just like stuff like that that like of course you're not going to be able to finish it because they're acting like you're out of it now but you're not out of it and also i feel like because you know how it's like you don't know how long it's gonna be i feel like that is one of those scenarios where it's like fuck she's kind of actually like making it you know yeah no so it's like oh let's do this so she freaks out and then because in that moment because if she freaked out and then started trying to run they'd be like it's over yeah i can make it you know (laughs) it would be like absolutely their fault that Mm -hmm, she did that because they yeah yeah no totally i yeah jesus not good insane not good at all i know that they are very much like blacklisted in the industry by other yeah because it gives well that kind of shit gives other one like legit Mm -hmm. ones a really bad name yeah so that's mahimi manor never will i ever go there i would actually rather die for real than go through that fucking thing i don't get it um well i guess we'll get into some honorable mentions of other ones yeah um so one of the ones i don't think this one's still open their website was shut down but it said Mm. that they took a break last year and they were supposed to be coming back this year but then of course covid classic um but it is called heretic horror house it is a 90 percent intensity rating oh shit this one really got me and i specifically didn't do this one because I didn't like the sound of this. Um, Fair. So it is in Los Angeles, Vegas, the UK, and Switzerland. Oh, it's like a chain. Yeah. Um, So it's one of the most extreme immersive horror experiences centered on strong narratives, intelligent themes, and unmatched physical situations. There are sexual tones, brutal aggression, and intense situations. Just you fucking wait. So in this, you can experience simulated torture, claustrophobia, brutal aggression, and physicality, as well as simulated nudity, gore, and rape. What? Yeah, the simulated rape, I don't understand, and I don't want to fucking understand. I don't understand how you would simulate that on a person. So, like, here's where I'm at. I know that, like, consensual non-consent is a thing. 
But that's with your partner. And I was going to say, and, like, I respect that. And that's fine. That's exactly, like, your two consenting adults, like, do that. But the key word here is, like, consent. Yeah. And I guess technically, if you're going into this, but is it rape every time? Or is it just if they want to throw in a little spatter? Because they they don't have a website or anything. So there's another one, La Casa de Satanas. Um, This one's in Chicago and New York. Um, Mm -hmm. obviously 18 years older, full contact, nudity, restraints, and sexual situations. A lot of these ones have sexual situations that I am like... I don't like that. I am not a fan. Um, But one of them I saw says that, like, you might have, like, a dildo shoved in your mouth and stuff like that, but they don't do it to women. They only do it to the men. That's lame, but whatever. That's... Yeah. I mean, I can handle a dildo in the mouth. Well, I think think the point is that it's not scary for women. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That was the point <laughs> it's not yeah well, we're, we're here again it. <laughs> like, yeah. i think that was more the point of like why they don't do it to women because okay. they're like oh, it doesn't really like i'm doesn't really i already have them. a happy place prepared man <laughs> honestly a lot of them are in the states yeah a lot of them like almost all of them that i found are in the states the or states they're in like switzerland fuck. or like the czech republic yeah yeah but that's it. Like, I'll, I'll, I haven't, I didn't find any that were in Canada. I have one from Ireland. Ooh. Yeah. What was that one called? Uh, yeah, that one is in Wexford, Ireland. Um, so that one's interesting um, because they have an entire, uh, like, legend backdrop that, um, which, first of all, the legend is, you know, like, quote unquote true. It's not just something they made up for the haunted house, mm-hmm. um, but they made a haunted house in this house based off of this legend. Um, thanks so much for, yeah, tuning in. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you would go through McKamey Manor or what was your main one called again? I'm so sorry. Uh, Castle of Chaos. Castle of Chaos. Castle of Chaos, the Crucible. Crucible is the extreme haunt. I would probably do the Castle of Chaos, the glow stick one. Yes, that, I want that. That's what I want from a haunted house. I want, I don't, uh, I don't like, I don't like jump scares. We already know this. I don't like it. I would do it if I had a glow stick that made people fucking leave me alone alone if i think it's (laughs) i think it's really cute i'm really into that i know it's for like children but like (laughs) i'm 24 year old me give me that effing glow stick um yeah so let's know what you thought uh give Mm. us you know and if we missed anything or if you have any more information about any of this if you've done an extreme haunt yes tell us about it like i said i want to know um and yeah so make sure you follow us on instagram at silence of the hag um leave us rates and reviews on apple podcasts and thank you so much for everyone who has been doing that we really appreciate it um we're also on anchor pocket cast spotify all of that good stuff and then if you have any questions comments concerns suggestions anything we need to correct um mm-hmm. give us a shout in uh in our email which is science of the hague at gmail.com Yes, and um, for suggestions, remember next season we're doing serial killers. killers. So if there's anybody you want to hear, I already have a few suggestions from some people. Mm, mm-hmm, um, me too. So if there's anybody you want to hear, let us know. Hit us up. Yeah, and you know what? If we don't get it, get around to it this season, you know, we'll probably probably we do another one. We'll absolutely be doing so, serial killers again. There's um, a lot of them. Yeah. So please let us know. Um, anything else? Oh yes, and happy early Halloween. We'll yes, hear happy you. We'll talk to Halloween. you guys tomorrow. Yes. Um, and honestly, like, I know we got one more episode, but this whole Halloween has been so much fun. And, mm-hmm. and just thanks for supporting us through it and, and, and giving us ideas. I've gotten yeah. lots of ideas from my friends. And I want to know what yeah. you guys are dressing up as for Halloween. Also you're that, dressing up. yeah, send us pictures and yes. stuff. And, well, all right, y'all. It's been thanks real. Thanks so much. It has. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to go have nightmares about McKamey Man yeah. for the rest of my life. Uh, so. My skin is crawling. Yeah, so. literally. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye-bye.